What's up guys and welcome back to Clash Mini Deck Review Episode 4, I think, where I take your guys' decks and I rate them. Anyways, leave your decks down below in the comment section right now and maybe you guys will be featured in next week's episode. Anyways, let's go ahead and kick it off with deck number one from Arifin Overhaven, or Heaven, hopefully I said your name right, I'm sorry if I didn't. Uh, he says... Or she. My deck is a Countess. Okay, we got the Countess. And a Giant Skeleton. Let's go Giant Skeleton. I'm glad it's a Countess deck. I do like Countesses right now. Uh, Mega Knight. Ooh, have not used Mega Knight yet this season. Uh, Miner. Interesting. Barbarian. And the Healing Ranger. Okay. Um, it looks like a decent deck. I mean, the Barbarian's not that strong anymore. Mega Knight is eh. The Miner's kind of eh. I can make a couple changes. Let, let's go ahead and uh, jump into a game. All right, we are playing against a monk. <clears throat> Let's go with the healing ranger in the back, barbarian in the front. Let's go like this. Uh, that way, we'll we'll go ahead and send our countess to the back, and the barbarian will take his time getting to the front. Let the healing ranger get some damage off. Oh, he sends his monk all the way to the back. All right, we'll take out his. Uh, we should. Yeah, there we go. We take out his spear goblin. That monk, no, is gonna take. Okay, nice. At least my healing ranger got uh, her ability off. On the countess before getting my countess back to full hp i uh, this monk is hopefully not gonna smack this countess out come on oh no oh no the monk destroying the countess all right we need to protect our countess probably with um i believe we have we have a giant bomb right yes we do a uh, giant skeleton and the mega knight um <clears throat> that should be good enough to tank honestly the giant skeleton and mega knight should be enough room to tank while my countess gets damage off i just want to distract this monk because i don't want this monk slapping my countess off the map again <laughs> that hurts hurts the soul all right he's got a pekka um i haven't seen a lot of people run pekka this season that's interesting also he's got a barbarian as well all right his barb will be gone giant bomb goes off mega knight ah oh, mega knight come on freeze him oh i was hoping his countess would turn on my barb hey we still won the game though or with the match all right one to one we need that Mega Knight to stay alive a little longer. Um, which means I need to hopefully maybe heal it up a little bit more. Let's get a Miner in the back to help out our Countess. And let's go Healing Ranger, increase speed. Because with that increased speed, we should be able to uh, get my Mega Knight's ability faster. Which means he'll freeze the, uh, he'll freeze the Monk. Or stun him is the correct word. Oh no. Oh no, Monk in the back. Good idea on his part. Nice monk goes ahead and dashes onto the miner. Perfect monk action right there. I need my monk away from that. Mm. Monk dash away. Nice. Look at the monk being the best. Getting away from that. Or not the monk. The countess. The countess being the best. Getting away from that monk. Oh my goodness. This deck is... I have to say it's pretty good. I'd like to see how it goes up against the wave master though. Uh, let's do an extra area of damage and... Um, let's also do extra stun increase as well. Um, I'm, mm, I guess we'll still send the Countess to the back. I don't know. We might as well, right? It's working now. Hey, if it's working, oh no, his monk is on my, mm, giant skeleton almost heals. Nice healing ranger keeps herself alive from that. Uh, all right. It worked out really well. The healing ranger kept herself alive from the, uh, from the miner, which I was a little scared about. And boom, we have so much health now. This deck is pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it, huh? I'm gonna say a seven out of ten because against a um, against a meta deck, it might not work as well. I'll give it a seven out of ten. I think there could be a couple different changes, like the Mega Knight. I'd probably switch it out for maybe like a Mini Pecker or something, uh, a three Elixir Mini instead of four, and it it has dissipate stuff like that. All right, the next person is Z Emperor. He says, try my deck. Archer Queen. Okay. Uh, Archer Queen. Boom. Lumberjack. Ooh. I haven't seen a lot of people using the Lumberjack in this season because the Healing Ranger is basically an OP Lumberjack. Uh, the Archer. The P.E.K.K.A. Oh, we already... Oh, we don't have the P.E.K.K.A. Uh, Archer, P.E.K.K.A., Musketeer. I do like the Musketeer. One of my favorite minis in the game right now. Where is it? There it is. Uh, Musketeer and the Giant Skeleton. Of course, I already replaced the Giant Skeleton. All right, here we go. Boom. Looks like a solid deck. Looks like a pretty solid deck here. Um, I'm thinking you usually just tank with the Giant Skeleton and the P.E.K.K.A. 
and just get your ability off with the archer queen, obviously. <laughs> and then, um, all right, let's see. We're playing against a wave master, so I'm just gonna go with this for the first. We'll go with this for the first round. Uh, this will be interesting because I don't have any firepower to be honest. We need to hopefully use our musketeer to stun the wave master and keep the wave master down. Um, he does have a healing ranger. I wish this deck had a healing ranger. I will say right off the bat, that's one way to improve it. Because uh, right now, I feel like if you're playing with the, without the Healing Ranger, it's like, what are you doing? You need the Healing Ranger. Alright, come on, Queen. Come on, Queen. She's stunned. She was stunned! If she didn't get stunned, I feel like she would have uh, she would have lived. Alright, we need to bait the Wave Master, too. Um, right, I'm going to bait the Wave Master with this Archer. Let's get a P.E.K.K.A. down as well. Alright, we should be able to bait this Wave Master. Because the Wave Master, as you guys know, goes for the furthest target. So having that Archer all the way in the corner should be able to get the Wave Master in that corner away from my Archer Queen. And that'll be the goal. Uh, Giant Skeleton will remain the same. Uh, nice Bowler. Ah, that's unfortunate. The Bowler got everybody off my Giant Skeleton and onto the P.E.K.K.A. Um, there we go. Giant Skeleton Bomb will go off. Perfect timing. Take out that Wave Master. Archer Queen doing her thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, this deck's still good. It's just about uh, playing it right, you know what I mean? Oh, nice. This time we get our Archer Queen. Um, let's go... Do, 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 do. Let's go Clash Ability. And our Musketeer would be nice. Let's go this way. We'll get the Clash Ability on everybody. Musketeer will hopefully get her ability off quick. We got the P.E.K.K.A. And the Giant Skelly, baby. Once again, we're going to bait out that uh hopefully bait out nice giant bomb will go off perfect time oh oh yeah there we go the musketeer got her or got him as long as the giant bomb or the musketeer got the wave master i'm happy all right this is looking good this is looking good i like it um this deck is solid i will say i was gonna say it feels like it lacks some healing but it feels good it really does um i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my P.E.K.K.A. to have block just to have the extra health and then I guess let's upgrade our archer because that's all we've got right now we've, we've got two elixir that's the only two elixir mini in this deck I think um all right here we go same same idea rage on everybody nice clash ability giant skeleton bomb will go off and catch the wave master perfect P.E.K.K.A. is gonna take out the wave master and that's GG's I didn't give this deck a 9 out of 10 feels strong all right, the third deck we have is from Mr. Ninja. My deck is a Barbarian King deck. Oof, the Barbarian King is so bad in this meta, I'll be honest. Um, it's got the Mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, Mini P.E.K.K.A. is really good. Uh, Archer, we already have that. Barbarian, Miner, and the Prince. Uh, ooh, this deck might be outdated. This deck might be outdated. Um, the Miner is all right. The Archer is all right. The Barbarian's all right. The Barbarian King kind of stinks in this meta. And the Prince, I guess, it got nerfed really hard and then it got buffed a little bit. So the Prince is okay, not the best. Honestly, I would replace the Prince with like maybe a Golden Giant. Um, maybe this deck's really good. Maybe <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Uh, let's go King on the ability. Honestly, I wouldn't even use the King in the season. If, if I'm being completely honest with you guys, don't use the King. Right now, that's why I literally have not made a King deck yet in this season. Um, I know a lot of you guys have asked for king decks, but I refuse to make a terrible deck <laughs> for you guys. And the king is just not good in this season, I'm going to be honest. And we're playing against a level 10. Oof, this is going to be tough. Um, also, I'd have like a healing ranger in here, not going to lie. You almost need a healing ranger in this meta as well. I guess last deck was really good and we didn't need the healing ranger. Oh man, I just, I would not use the king. Look at this, the king is useless. He can't do anything. <laughs> he literally can't do anything. He's just knocked out this whole time. 0 out of 10 on this deck, man. Alright, right. I'll, be, I'll be fair. I'll be fair. We'll, we'll upgrade this deck and use it. But as of right now, I'm not impressed. Uh, I guess we'll go Archer in the corner. I'm going to go Dissipate on the Mini P.E.K.K.A. We definitely need Dissipate. Do we have anything better? I mean... Hi there. I mean, I, uh, I don't want to put away two minis just for the Prince. I don't know. All right, dissipate on his. We should be good here if we just continue dissipating his, uh, his wave master. Not let the wave master get their ability off. Unfortunately, his mini P.E.K.K.A. Yeah, 
We, I mean, we have the numbers right now. His mini P.E.K.K.A. unfortunately did so much damage, though, and took out my mini P.E.K.K.A. How did my mini P.E.K.K.A. stay alive, though? Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. Come on, King. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We take that round. Just barely. His mini P.E.K.K.A. took out my mini P.E.K.K.A. How did my mini P.E.K.K.A. stayed up? We would have kept getting dissipated abilities off and would have been chilling. All right, the Prince. I, I will say he'll probably be surprised to see a Prince in this meta. Um, and let's, I guess, upgrade our Barbarian. That's, that's the only thing we can do. All right, Prince. I mean, honestly, hopefully I get a... If I can get my Prince on his Dark Goblin, that'd be sick. Oh, he goes Dark Goblin down the middle, of course, and my Prince is useless. <laughs> no. All right, at least we'll take out his Healing Ranger. That's nice. Left us enough uh, time to get that Healing Ranger. Actually, hmm... It's kind of working, I'm not going to lie. Although, oof. I don't know if we win this round, though, because of that knockout ability. But, I mean, this deck's kind of working. We got to the back with the Prince and the Miner. Took out all of his... Honestly? We'll have we'll win this heal off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two to one. This deck's a little bit better than I was expecting. Okay. I'm surprised. Let's go King here. Mini Pekka here. I'm just going to go down the middle with our Prince. Let's go ahead and do, do, do. let's get Cleave. There we go. I was literally about to say if I can, I was going to say if I can three star my Miner, that would be insane. But there's no way I three star my Miner with one reroll. But we somehow, some way, were able to do it. All right, here we go. This Mini Pekka, or not Mini Pekka, this Miner is about to go ham. Boom. There we go. Ability. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Miner, being the best. Okay, this deck, I'm going to give it a 7. It's good. This is the best King deck I've seen this season, no cap.